Albert Einstein said adversity introduces a man to himself. If that's true, 17 year old Jack Weeks is getting to know himself very well. Jack's life changed forever last summer when a diving accident left him paralyzed. The accident changed his body, but it hasn't changed who he is at his core. Do I have to press the button? Mm -hmm. Down here? The blinking? Mm -hmm. Jack Weeks is like a lot of 17 year olds. Normally, uh, I like to stay up a lot. Uh, play video games and just play with my friends. But last summer, everything changed for this senior at Casco Bay High School. We were in uh, Delaware visiting my grandparents. We stayed an extra day because the AC in the car was broken, so it had to be fixed. So we were supposed to leave that day, but instead we went to the beach. Everyone was playing, having a great time. I decided to dive into the water. A seemingly insignificant decision that would change the trajectory of his life and it was shallow. So when I dove in, I hit my neck. I remember diving in and then I blacked out and then I woke up and I was just underwater. I wasn't really scared. I was kind of just like, it was kind of just quiet. I couldn't really like do anything. So I kind of just closed my eyes and just let it happen. Luckily, my, my cousin was there and saw it, and she, she was like, something's wrong, and she hit the beach and was able to got get him out. Got him yeah. out. Turns out someone was there to grab me, so here I am. A local ER doctor rushes to Jack and starts to perform CPR. So I sat kind of on top of his legs, and I put my hand on his, on his stomach while they were working with him, and I just closed my eyes and looked up at the sun. And I remember as they were putting him up on the dune buggy, his arms just sort of collapsed on his sides and I put him back up and they did it again. And I was like, oh no. Jack is rushed to a local hospital. His parents, Kip and Cammy Weeks, close by. We got to the hospital and the hospital was kind of difficult because when we got there, we were greeted by the chaplain. And I yeah. was like, Oh my, oh my well, gosh, yeah. what, is, what is happening? The doors were opening and closing and we could see like the, them pumping sand and water out of his stomach because he had swallowed everything. Um, and then... And then he spoke. He spoke. Kip goes, <laughs> what did you do, buddy? And he's like, I don't know. Their son's voice is music to their ears. Uh, and we just kept telling him we loved him. Jack is transferred by helicopter to Children's Hospital in Wilmington, where he will stay for 30 days. He broke his C5 vertebrae, so it was damaged from C4 to C6. So then his surgery, he has surgery in the front of his neck and in the back. No one had yet to say, your son is paralyzed from his neck down. I just didn't know what it meant, spinal cord injury. The only one that told us was a nurse. Um, and. It just took us really by shock when she when she told us, oh no, he nipple won't. Down, she, yeah, you know, she nipple was, down paralyzed. Yeah. Some, she said something like that and we were like. And she walked what? out of the room and that's when we were just like, that's the first time we heard yeah. it. Yeah. So we kind of grieved for a while when we yeah. heard that. It was the unknown. We just didn't know and, and we just kept thinking the best would happen. Yeah. You know, and it has in a lot of ways. In the face of unimaginable adversity, the weeks pulled together. We immediately said, okay, game it's on. game on, yeah. right. I can feel from my, like, to where I broke my neck up. So I can only feel um, probably around from my nipples up. Uh, I can feel a little bit of some of my arm and uh, barely my fingers and hands. But besides that, that's all I have for feeling. But I can move my arms but not my fingers. Jack went to the Shepherd Center in Atlanta, which specializes in treatment for spinal cord injury. Shepherd was amazing. There, Jack began to tackle the challenge of living with paralysis. I didn't really think I would regain anything at first, but slowly at Shepherd, it like, I like realized that stuff was happening. So I got excited and here we are now. Oh, Jack's super cool. Like Holden Shaw was at Shepard because he broke his he neck in an ATV accident. I definitely gained a lot of friends that I will have for a long time. Whenever I first got to Shepard's, he was kind of the first one there that like told me like it's gonna be good, and like 
we're just happy to be alive. They also helped me like get from being super depressed to slowly wanting to achieve more. Jack did the same for them. You know, he's a jokester, right? He'd always crack jokes and stuff to make sure I'm in a good mood. I make fun of myself for being paralyzed. It's just, it kind of gets me through a day by day, like dark humor, which is horrible, but it's what I like. Like a typical teen, Jack also poked fun at his friends. Yeah, he'd always make sure everyone was up early. It'd really annoy me on the weekend sometimes, though. Oh, yeah, he'd just come to my room, and if I wasn't up, he'd be like, get up. We had a lot of fun. One time we had um, a business dinner yeah. with the CEO of Shepherds, and we went to the boardroom, and we took down the CEO and the head doctor's pictures, and we put ours up instead. Jack was at the rehab for six months, and his mother never left his side. I feel like we tapped into this pulse of love that I just, I knew was there all along, but I just never experienced it. Man, he's really positive. He kind of helped me uh, be more positive at Shepherds. He made sure that I had a friend and he helped me make friends there too. You know him well, but what yeah. did you learn about your son at that rehab? That he is much stronger than I ever gave him credit for. Much more, um, much kinder, much more sensitive. It's gonna make me cry. But he's um, he's just such a wonderful soul, and he, he just brings happiness. When Jack returned to Maine, he came home to a new house, one his divorced parents bought together and have worked to renovate for him. The whole family now lives together as Kip and Cammy work to care for Jack. I slowly like got back into a day like of just being normal in life. It slowly to took a toll. So I realized that it's gonna be a lot harder in the real world again than it used to be. I think the worst part for me is depression at night. It keeps me up, so that's all I think about. But besides that, I'm mostly positive. I also tell him that, you know, it's okay to be depressed. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to feel angry. You just can't live in those feelings. How have your friends been? They completely treat me like normal. It's, it's very like, it just remem it reminds me of what I had, which is nice. It's hard. It's really hard. The day-to-day -day is hard because it, it, you sometimes feel like s stuck in it. But to always remember that it, it's you, just like before, you, you're not going to stay in that spot. It's going to be hard, but it's going to be great. It's brought our family so much closer. Do you like dogs, Jack? Yes. Mm. Jack finds strength surrounded by his family. Definitely helps me on a day-to-day, -day, just knowing that they're always there. We joke, but we're very, I'm very honest with him all the time. I don't, you know, I don't sugarcoat anything. Um, I make sure that, you know, um, he is aware of everything that's happening. Yes, We don't hide sure. anything from him. We tell him what our goals are. And we have faith, which is as if you have faith in God, you have faith in the fact that our son is going to walk again. I feel like I was meant to do this, to take care of, like I'm fulfilling whatever my life's purpose was. And there are great moments in this. You have to celebrate every little win. Like, oh, I feel a twitch in my arm. That's awesome, you know? And just never give up. You got to find humor. That's the, yeah. best, that's the best way to get through this. I kind of just live day by day and just kind of say, it is what it is. I don't really care much that I'm paralyzed anymore. I kind of got over with the fact that I am. Kind of just live my day, day by day. Jack has been home from the Shepherd Rehab for a year now. Kip and Cammie Weeks say the accident cost between insurance and the family $2 million. They continue to fundraise for the things insurance doesn't cover, like certain therapies for Jack. They're also fundraising to get Jack involved in a stem cell trial and to get him a wheelchair that can tackle all terrain. We'll have a link on our website to Jack's blog where you can follow his journey. Just an incredible story 
also in the sense that they sat down with you and they shared so much just to be so open and for Jack to just tell you exactly what he's going through. They were so open and I asked at the beginning of the interview, I said, you know, if there's anything that you don't want to talk about, we don't have to. And he was like, no, I want to talk about it all. Yeah, which is great because, you know, not everyone's going through a diagnosis of being paralyzed, but they are going through something and, and that means so much to so many people. Absolutely.